Do you know the ACT government is considering building a light rail connecting Gangalan and the city? Is it a timely development or is it a complete waste of money? Government across the world at all levels, they make investment decisions just like this one every day. From the local to the national level, government often face competing demand for scarce resources. Not every project can be funded. Although spending decisions can sometimes be made on political ground alone, cost-benefit analysis of policies and programs is often required to ensure that the relative social merits of different proposals are well considered. When we as individuals consider whether we are going to invest in a car, then we tend to consider our own cost and our own benefits, including fuel, petrol, insurance, maintenance and registration fee. And then we compare all this private cost with alternative options, for example, taking a bus. So we compare the cost of these two different investment decisions and we choose the one that gives us the highest individual net benefit. Similar to an individual, when firms consider making investment decisions, they also tend to consider only the cost and benefits that are relevant to them. In this course, we try to consider all the costs and all the benefits of a specific project to the society as a whole, what we refer to as social cost and social benefits. In the previous example, we have talked about the private cost of investing in a car. And when we talk about social cost, then it includes the cost of pollution and also the cost of road maintenance. By considering social cost and social benefits, it allows cost-benefit analysis to answer very important questions for the government, whether governments should spend money to fund a particular public project or not from the standpoint of the society as a whole. My name is Amy Liu. I'm the convener of cost benefit analysis. This is our first year introductory course aimed at anyone wanting to work in the public sector and get involved in policy delivery services. Students in this course will learn the basic understanding of the concept and theories underpin cost benefit analysis. In addition to that, they also develop the essential skill to carry out a simple cost benefit analysis. I look forward to seeing you in class and working with you.